Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a couple tips that you should know about the Nintendo Switch just in case you haven't got it or you're planning on getting it later on in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first tip I want to share with you guys, it has to do with the home button, which is right here. If you tap on it, it takes you to the game if you have a game open, right? If you tap it again, it takes you back to the home menu. But if you tap and hold, it doesn't matter if you are in the game or on the menu it'll take you to a quick settings right there from this quick settings you can actually put your console in sleep mode you sleep right there auto brightness you could turn it on or off here you got the brightness you could turn it all the way up or all the way down with whatever stick you want to use um here you got airplane mode so another tip you should know is that if you are not connected to your home network if you're not using any wireless network which is your obviously your wi-fi um you might want to turn this on because if you turn that on it will actually save a little bit more battery for you uh, for when you're on the go but one thing you should know is that if you connect this back to your dock uh, like you see here it says cannot use wireless controllers now so if you connect this to the dock make sure you turn off um, airplane mode because if you don't you're not going to be able to use like your wireless controllers with it and i think you can also you cannot be you will not be able to use these joy cons because remember the device actually use um, bluetooth to use these joy cons so if you once you click put this on it will turn off automatically everything bluetooth wi-fi whatever wireless connection a cool feature here is if you tap right here on the battery icon you can see the percentage right there even it disappears you click right here tap right there you see the percentage but it disappears if you want to see the percentage all the time visible all you got to do is go to settings go all the way down here to system then go all the way down here it says console battery percentage click right there and now when you tap right here voila your percentage is going to be visible all the time doesn't matter where you at another thing you should know is how to properly turn off the device yes because a lot of people are actually asking how do you turn this device off and it's really simple all you got to do is for example if you tap right there it actually goes into sleep mode so it might be burning a little bit of battery not that much but maybe a little tiny little bit of battery um, if you want to turn it off completely uh, you're going to have to press and hold for like three seconds there you go and now you see a menu there it says sleep mode or power options click right there it says restart or turn off if you click turn off it will turn it off completely of course if you restart it will restart properly your device and that's it that's how you properly turn off or on or restart your nintendo switch way you can actually save a little bit battery life is to also control the time that the console takes to go into sleep mode if you click right here in settings go all the way here down 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 it says sleep mode uh, right here it says auto sleep when playing on console screen which is this mode right here click right there uh, here you got one minute five minutes never so i leave it on three minutes but you could put in one minute so once this detects you haven't been touching it for a minute it will automatically go into sleep mode another thing here when you're connected to the tv or when this is docked to the tv in console mode here you also have an auto sleep mode as well you click right here one hour that's good another cool feature here or something nice here is that it says suspend auto sleep while playing media content now one thing to keep in mind there is no media content at all there is no youtube there is no hulu there is no netflix there is no media at all but this lets me know here that it, there might actually be a media content coming out later on in the future which i'm pretty sure it will happen um but for right now there isn't but there's an option here that says playing media content turn it on so it says right here suspend auto uh, auto sleep while playing media content so if you leave it on and you're watching like a movie on netflix or videos from youtube it will not go into sleep mode so that's 
pretty cool to see there another cool feature here is how to take screenshots here in this button right here if you press it it will take the screenshot it doesn't matter where you at you could be here in the settings as well in the menu it doesn't matter where you at it's going to take a screenshot after you after you take the screenshot you're going to go ahead right here in album and here you could go ahead for example tap right there and right here you could go ahead and with the r button you could go ahead through the photos just like that very very cool or over here just like that if you tap right there it'll eliminate the the words on the screen like see there eliminate the words on the screen and it'll look better when you're going through the images just like that really cool and another cool feature here is that for example you can also share your pictures on poll and social networks for example if you press edit the a to start editing uh here you have the option to post click right there boom, and it's gonna if you never signed in for the first time you're gonna have two options like this right here it says post to facebook it is not linked yet twitter you have these two options twitter or facebook uh, if i click right there it's already linked so here you have the body of the message that you want to post um, and once you write the message, you could just go ahead and write it there and that's it over here If you want to change to Facebook tap right there Boom click right there and right here is gonna tell you to enter your information for Facebook and basically that's it right there another cool feature here Is you click editing you can add texting as well. So for example, I could right here cool heart you can use your you can use the button as if, if you want or you can actually use the touch screen as well so i could go ahead and press the aaa right here a cool it's right there and you can click ok right here and that's it so once you do that you can actually control um the um text size the font size right there click the proper size right there and here you can change the location you can use or see here i'm using this thumbstick right there click right there and now you can choose the color very cool there you go the pink and finish once you click finish there you go you can see the image right there and right now you can go ahead and share it on twitter if you want and here you got copy if you click copy it will save a copy of this to your system and here you could go ahead and delete it that's it for now the only thing you could do right now is take screenshots but later on in the future if i'm not mistaken nintendo actually did say that later on in the future this would be getting an update and will be able to possibly take videos so that would be really nice to see later on in the future if that really comes true another thing to keep in mind is that you can actually use third-party cables to charge your device because this is usb-c connection now i've heard in the internet some people saying that you cannot charge uh, using third-party support uh, third-party cables that's cannot be true because i've been using these and it works properly good these are from i orange e cable they do cables for different kind of company like apple lightning cables and all that and I actually purchased these a couple months ago. These are like 10 foot long, which is great when you're charging, especially in a commercial or, or a public place. You need a lot of space from your charging um, location to your device. Uh, this would be a very nice device or very nice cable to have. And to show you guys that it actually charges, um, I did test it. Believe me, guys, after hearing all those rumors that it didn't work with um, third party cables, I did test it and see how much th does it charge, if it charges, how fast. And you can see there, console, battery, percentage. You can see the lightning right there, which means it's charging. And the only thing that I noticed is that it does charges, but it charges a little bit slower than docking your device on the dock that you use it for example when you, you're going to use your nintendo switch in console mode uh, when you use it when you charge it like that it does charge faster but when you charge it with the cable it starts it charges a little bit slower but it still charges another thing you should know is how to access your profile if you click right here your little image right there click right there you're gonna access your profile right away you can see if you are online and here is my friend code 
because right now I have zero friends. Like you see, there are zero friends. So if you want to have my code, is 7527-7269-5395. And here you got friend list, add a friend. So there's a couple ways you can add friends right here. Sending a code or look, uh, looking for codes and all that. And even players that you have played with. Like see here, search for local users or search for users you played with. Over here it says user settings. Uh, here you could change a couple things as well, like manage block list, uh, friend settings, icon, nickname. You could change your nickname right there. Uh, social networks right here. You can link your Facebook and and um, Twitter. Um, here, if you click right there on the image, you can actually change your me character um, facial expression and pose. Click right there. Face your expression. I could go ahead and change it right there if I want, like that. Change pose. I could go ahead and choose right here. There you go. It looks a little bit different there. Here, if you tap right there, you can actually change a couple things as well. You can customize it completely. Hairstyle. You want to put a hairstyle here different, just like that. And like, see here, I could go ahead and change my my haircut and everything. And you can also change colors. So there's a lot of things you can actually do here to customize your character or your me character click right there okay click back and click done and there you go click okay and that's it so like see there we could change that here you can also change the background as well so right there and okay that's it so you see that looks pretty cool if you choose an a image one of those image default image that you get you're not going to be able to do any of that so you actually have to create a me character that you can do here on the nintendo switch by going to settings and choosing me character so guys that's it for this video just wanted to share this video with you guys i actually did another video where i explained a couple settings that you get when you connect your nintendo switch in console mode so you might want to watch that video i'll leave a link in my description and on the video and uh, you know later on i'm going to do other videos like for example my personal review on the nintendo switch and i'm also going to be comparing later on the Vita versus the Switch so you guys can see a little bit of the differences and basically that's it guys so thanks for watching my videos let me know if you like the video or not till next time